L7. What's up, Square Bears? I don't know why I said L7 shit, but whatever. It's the name of the channel, L7 Society. Anyway, Kenji Nikki, Cyan and L7 Society, Naruto Chapter Review 671. I want to say that it's 671, right? Yeah, 671. Uh, doesn't have a name in the chapter, obviously, but that's neither here or there. Uh, last chapter, of Naruto, seven or six, excuse me, six seven zero six seventy. Uh, where Naruto's head, the spirit, his spiritual area, or whatever, like he had with the nine tails or whatever. He's talking to the Sejus's past, chatting it up with him about Naruto being destined to be reincarnated of the Sejus's past's uh, youngest son, Ashura. Right? I said that right, right? If I, if I didn't, please forgive me. I'm terrible with names when it comes to this. Um, anyway. Yeah, so the Sanderson's past telling the story, told the story last chapter, and uh, you know, asking Naruto, like, did you know that you were the reincarnation of my youngest son, Ashura? And like Naruto's like, you know what? I think I had an idea, which is bullshit. Like, where did this come from? All right? Like, I thought Naruto was the one who gave the middle finger to Destiny. Like the whole thing with Neji, the whole thing with that. Uh, Who's that one guy in the beginning that tried to kill him? Try to get that that big scroll. To try to get that the clone jutsu, or whatever. That guy was talking about destiny. And Naruto's like, you know what? Fuck all that. I don't give. I don't give a fuck about destiny. But then here we come to this. Like everything that he done is everything that he did throughout the whole entire series is determined. Is already determined. Child of prophecy by name that by Jiraiya. Which is like they don't need a fuck about Jiraiya anymore. We only we ain't heard shit about Jiraiya. And Jiraiya's the first one that said that Naruto was a child of prophecy. And we ain't heard shit about that, but since I said that, now it's probably gonna be flashback city, which so if that if that happens, blame me. I'm sorry. <laughs> um Yeah, and everybody already knows that the older brother's reincarnation is Sasuke. I mean that's that's a given. Come on now. Um, yeah, so apparently Naruto knew this crap. That he was... Uh, that he was the incarnation... Or he had like somebody else's chakra besides the Nine Tails, Which is... I call it bullshit on that. Because we would have got a word of that beforehand. It's like... it's like This part of the story is, is just all thrown in. Like Kishimoto did not even... Like... He didn't even plan this shit. It's like he's writing this shit week by week. Or day, like, yeah, literally, like, week by week. Like, he doesn't even have, like, an, end, an ending to it. Like, like he said about the whole Madara thing. I don't know how we're going to beat Madara. He's all powerful. I don't even know how to beat him yet. Like, like you write a story, you got to have an ending to it, at least. But anyway, that's a whole other can of worms. It, Sasuke, yeah. So, Naruto, like, pretty much said it. Everybody already knew that like, Sasuke is the the incarnation of Indra, and he said he like you already knew, and whatever. It goes back to um, after the Kage summit, and everybody's like talking like Naruto like after Sasuke beat the fight like fought the five Kages, and after he fought Donzo like you couldn't catch your name. He's like no, I was like no, I couldn't catch your Sasuke because there's something inside him or whatever. I can't defeat him. I know that. Like, which is bullshit. Because they should have got Sasuke. Even though fake ass, sorry ass Sakura was there. At least with Kakashi, him and Naruto should have took to like handle Sasuke. But then again, uh, Obito was there. A.K.A. Madara. A.K.A. Obito. He was there. And I guess they couldn't really do shit then anyway. But still. Like, they didn't even fucking try. At least, at least Kakashi was like... At least Kakashi was gonna fucking kill him. Naruto was being a punk ass yet again. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, so it comes... It comes up to... 
uh, says his past, telling Naruto that the incarnations before him were uh, the incarnation was Hishimama and Madara, and obviously Indra was in Madara and Ashura was in Hishimama, obviously. But then again, did it just end right there? But then again, the whole how the whole series is. How everybody's like Naruto or have similarities or go to the same crap and how the story is one pretty much vague, vague as hell. One works hard and other one's gifted, good, bad, blah, blah, blah. So if the incarnations went through Hishimama and Ochi, um, Hishimama and Madara, does that mean that they also went through Jiraiya via Orochimaru? Obito slash guy via Kakashi and so forth. I mean, like there that relationship is throughout the whole series, yo. Which I don't understand whatsoever, but yeah. So basically and also uh Sage Six Pass telling Naruto that um Madara is ending up like like, uh, says his six past mother, like going after like pure just power and control over everything, like the whole uh plan, the whole plan that Mara has with the with everybody being under that uh genjutsu, and they all connect to the tree, or whatever, like it happened before. And then, and then also, there's something here that. I don't know, maybe I read it wrong or it was like a translation type deal where uh, it said that the Sage his past mother had Byakugan. So what's up with that? Are they going to explain that or are they just going to keep it all about the Uchiha's and Naruto, which, which is pretty much the whole series is Uchiha and Uchiha and if you're a Naruto, that's pretty much the whole series, but I wonder if they're going to do anything about that. But as as you see, Madara is actually looking like say she's a six pass mother with the whole crown thing with the ear crap and whatever. He's starting to look like her and so so Sage Six Path is asking, like, are you gonna defeat Madara or whatever? And Naruto's like, Sure. Thank you for still believing in us. And uh then all of a sudden all the tail beasts showed up, so, and you know, greeting the old man, and the tail beasts are telling, like, the eight tails and one tails telling Naruto, and the nine tails telling Naruto that Obito, like, took them away from Madara and put them back in his body, and then all of a sudden, all of them show up, which I don't know how the hell that happened, because Obito only got two of them. Maybe, no, he got three of them. He got the nine tails, one tails, and the eight tails, right? So, what happened to B, yo? Is is Killer B dead? Cause we haven't heard shit about him. Like like the eight tails in here, like that's the only thing we heard about fucking Killer B. And that and it's not even talking about Killer B. Like where is B? Is he dead? Like what the fuck happened to him? Anyway, yeah, so Sage has passed. I don't got all the tail beasts in him now, which I don't know how the fuck that happened. Um And they cut, and then, you know, Naruto's talking about his friends and all that other jazz, whatever, like he wants to protect him and whatnot, which, and then, and then now it cuts to the Sensei's past talking to Sasuke, pretty much, he told Sasuke everything, so, what, it, so, what did Sasuke say to the Sensei's past, because obviously it was different from what Naruto said, because Naruto's all about that friendship and all that crap, and we still don't even know what the hell Sasuke's after. Maybe, is it power? Hokage? Bullshit? I mean, his objective is done. Really. So, now, Sayashi's Paz is going to give them his power. And, obviously, you know, they're going to be all like how Obito and how Mario is right now, but they're probably going to have their own shit. Naruto's probably going to have like a cloak. Like the, the, Nine Tails cloak or whatever, but this time it's gonna be like how sure it was with the six 
fucking arm thing. And Ozzy Sasa is going to have his Sushuno thing or whatever. So that's how the chapter ends. Oh, no. It didn't end like that. My bad. My bad. Sorry. Totally forgot about freaking guy. Sensei is jacked up. We see that Mario's fucked up too, so Guy was giving it to him. Um, now Guy's down to like his last, last leg, and he's like, and Mario's talking shit to him. Basically, he's like, "Come on, is that all you got? Give me some more." And because Mario is a crazy bastard, and he likes to fight and whatever. Um, so yeah, Guy on his last leg, and he's about to do. I guess unless the translation is wrong, it's called Night Guy. That's his last move or whatever. Hopefully, Naruto and Sasuke hurry up to save Guy because that'd be that Guy's gonna die. If they don't hurry up, Guy's gonna die. He's either gonna die from using this move or Mars is just gonna fucking kill him. And I hope that they give Rock Lee some shine, yo. He opened the sixth gate. Hope maybe he opened the seventh gate. And where's Tin Tin? <laughs> What was that? What was that? Like chapter six, six sixty eight or something? And Rock Lee showed up, and guy was like, "Where's Tintin?" <laughs> I don't know if that's to pay homage to the joke or whatever, but that shit was funny to me. But anyway, Naruto chapter six seventy one. Uh, hopefully, it's not flashback city like I. Accidentally probably jinxed us <laughs> for next week's chapter. Uh, hopefully we see my guy go all out. We'll see um, the butt buddies do something now. Uh, Myra's jacked up, but obviously has a healing type deal. So anyway, that's it. Chapter review, Naruto 671. Uh... It's Kenji Nikki, L7, Square Bears, sign out. See you next video. Peace.